I'm Pete Mundo. We're Heartland College Sports. Welcome in to the show. We appreciate you being here. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So where are we at in this Big 12 title race? Well, here's what we've got. We've got four teams in contention. BYU and Colorado are both 6-1 and one in Big 12 play. Arizona State and Iowa State are both 5-2. and two. So here's what we know. This comes courtesy of the Big 12 Conference. Some scenarios in which we could see spots in the Big 12 Championship secured. Here are the clinching scenarios as we head into Week 13. BYU earns a spot in the Big 12 Championship game with a win over Arizona State and a Utah win over Iowa State. You got that? BYU gets in this week if they beat Arizona State and Utah upsets Iowa State. Then if you're BYU, you don't have to worry about your final regular season game against Houston in two weeks. You can rest if you want to for the Big 12 championship. Meantime, Colorado secures a berth with a win over Kansas and wins by BYU and Utah. So Colorado gets in. If they beat Kansas this weekend, Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, home of the Chiefs, they're doing construction at Memorial Stadium. So that game's being played in Kansas City, Missouri, not in Lawrence, Kansas. And BYU get to win over Arizona State. And Utah beats Iowa State. So basically, if these three teams win this weekend, we know what our Big 12 championship game is going to be. It will be BYU and Colorado if BYU wins, Colorado wins, and then Utah upsets Iowa State because naturally Arizona State at that point would have three losses because they would have lost to BYU. And then you've also got Iowa State who would have three losses because they would have lost at that point to Utah. So that's the most unlikely, obviously, of those three games, and that would be Utah, which just looks like it is totally down in the dumps, upsetting Iowa State. But hey, anything can happen. And Iowa State, I mean, they're five and two and they looked better in the second half. But you got to go to Salt Lake City for the first time as a program. That is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. So we'll have to see how it plays out. It's going to be a heck of a weekend in the Big 12 Conference, and man, (laughs) I cannot wait to see how this thing plays out. We will get some chaos, though, in Week 14 if Arizona State beats BYU at home, and then if Colorado loses to Kansas and Iowa State gets its win against Utah, then we've got total chaos because then what we have is four two-loss teams going into week 14 of the regular season. That is the situation, let's be honest, the Big 12 wants to avoid. The Big 12 wants nothing to do with tiebreakers this year. There was some drama at the end of last season with the tiebreakers. They don't want to deal with that again. They want, I mean, you got to because you've got 16 teams. You can't play a round robin. I miss those days in the Big 12 when you had 10 teams, nine conference games. You knew who was going. It was very simple to figure out. Those days are over. And that's true in every conference. You get rid of divisions and everybody can't play everybody. So you've got this mess of a tiebreaker scenario. But if Arizona State beats BYU, Colorado loses to Kansas and Iowa State beats Utah, it will be an insane week of drama and figuring out tiebreakers and everything else in the Big 12. I'm not going to lie. That would be good for me for business. But it wouldn't be clean for the conference. I, I'll embrace the chaos if I had to do it. But I'm just saying that is not what the Big 12 wants to see happen. They want this thing clean. They probably want BYU and Colorado. Those are two huge brands. You got Deion Sanders and Coach Prime back in Arlington, Texas. That would be a wet dream for Brett Yormark. Oh, my goodness. He'd be on cloud nine. But... Let's see how the games play out. 